It was more than three years ago when we found out that Yadidya had um, epilepsy. He was three years old and they started trying to treat him with medications. So you are a neurologist here in Israel? I'm a pediatric neurologist and my specialty is epilepsy. So when I have a seizure, it feels really weird. Typically, it starts with a taste under my tongue. It tastes like metal. Then I see a lot of kind of colors in my peripheral, like the sides of my vision. My ability to make decisions just goes really fast. When I'm going the next day, before I know it, I'm kind of uh, fighting for decreasing the number of medications that you need to fail before you get the cannabis. The child has to fail five drugs, and they know statistically that the fourth one is not going to help, and the fifth one is not going to help. But these are the, currently the, the laws of the Ministry of Health in Israel. After they started giving him medications, he was having seizures nonstop. They were knocking him out on phenobarbital and all these drugs which weren't working. They tried seven different medications in the hospital. He started screaming, screeching. It was the most scariest thing. He started yelling, I want to kill myself. For the first year, I was a bit suspicious. By the end of the second year, when I summarized my own results, I was convinced. And since then, I started to suggest cannabis to parents. What changed your mind? The numbers. So we got him the license for oil, and we started him on cannabis. It went basically from him having seizures nonstop. He went to having seizures first every four minutes apart, then every five minutes apart. And then that night, he went into the fridge and he downed the whole entire bottle of cannabis, his whole oil, his whole bottle of oil. And I was like, shoot, I'm looking up on the internet, you know, like what happens if he takes the whole bottle of oil and writing to everybody and they're like, okay, nobody overdoses from cannabis. He got high, he fell asleep. He woke up in the morning, he had no seizures that night. It was the first time he had no seizures. He started playing and he got so happy. He started jumping, he's like, I can play. The most amazing thing a mother could hear her, her three-year-old say. Sharon, you are um, the second youngest member of parliament in the Israeli Knesset. Part of your legislation is the legalization of cannabis or the criminalization. The criminalization. Right. If uh, you are caught using cannabis, even if you were, let's say, 16, 18 years old, probably you will have the stain for the rest of your life. You will be sentenced to court and you might be sent to prison for up to five years as well. So you were officially the first study on marijuana, not only in Israel, but in the world. Yeah, but I may have to change because it's becoming almost impossible. I feel as though your role is just, it's so inspiring. You're saving you. lives. It's uh, sometimes as politicians, we're not sure whether people actually see the work that, that we're doing. And so words like that really gives me strength to continue in, in that work. Thank Absolutely. you. You're doing a great fucking job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.